Which protein source is better for building muscle? Proteins from animals or proteins from plants? It's no secret that bodybuilders consume a high protein diet to build muscle. Animal based proteins like meat, eggs, dairy, and dairy derivatives like whey protein are considered staples in most bodybuilding diets. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak. That's what a man eats. But more recently, many people have transitioned or considered transitioning to a plant-based diet for health, environmental, and ethical reasons. While protein consumption in most parts of the world is still heavily plant-based, Western regions like North America still consume most of the protein from animal sources. Still on the rib bone. There are two extreme views that you often hear. One is that meathead bodybuilders can pack on more muscle eating steak and eggs every morning but are on the fast track to clogged arteries and a heart attack by age 55. And the other is that vegan warriors will live until 110 years old but are doomed to be weak and frail because of protein deficiencies. But you got to understand that's marketing. That's not based on reality. While someone's choice of protein can be based on various factors, this video will answer three questions using scientific research. One is which protein source is best for building muscle. Two is why these differences exist. And three, how to maximize muscle mass with either protein source. Protein quality. How does it affect how we build and repair muscle? And how can we break it down in a way that's easy to understand? So we're going to use a car analogy. And for a car to best serve its purpose, it needs to have most, if not all, of its components. Parts like the engine, tires, windows, and the enclosure that we sit in. Some parts are vital, and the car couldn't work without it, like the engine, and other parts are good to have, but aren't as important, like the mirrors. Both animal and plant-based proteins have about 20 common amino acids. There are 9 amino acids that are considered essential. Essential because the body does not create them, and they need to be consumed through diet. The more of these essential amino acids a protein contains, the more complete the protein is considered. More complete proteins are better digested, absorbed, and utilized by the body. So let's go back to the car analogy. If for some reason the car engine is missing, it needs to be replaced for the car to serve its purpose. Otherwise, the vehicle is more likely to be sent to the scrapyard and be broken down for its parts. When a protein is lacking in an essential amino acid, it's less likely to be used to build muscle and more likely to be broken down and used for other functions in the body. And this relates to other studies that found a higher breakdown of amino acids from a wheat protein, which is a plant-based protein, versus a milk protein, which is animal-based. So based on what we just mentioned on complete proteins, it will be easy to assume that animal-based proteins are better for building muscle. But what about vegan bodybuilders? How are they able to build great physiques without consuming any animal products? With the following points, you'll see why. First is that resistance training is the biggest driver of muscle growth. Effective, consistent, challenging resistance training with a normal protein intake, whether it's plant-based or animal-based, will outdo poor training and a high-protein diet any day without a doubt. Next is that genetics plays a role in someone's start point and how they progress over time. So someone with great genetics, a solid work ethic, can make a ton of progress regardless of which protein source they choose. And the last point I'm going to mention is that something being more effective doesn't mean that the other thing doesn't work at all. It just may be more effective when we're looking at things in isolation, but we're also going to look at the overall picture throughout this video. With all that being said, plant-based proteins are still less anabolic than animal-based proteins. Here's a list of studies that looked at the short-term and long-term effects of both. In the short-term, whey protein, which is derived from dairy, stimulated the muscle building and repair process called muscle protein synthesis to a greater degree than soy or wheat proteins. The plant-based proteins became as effective as the whey protein when the amount consumed was increased or when they were fortified with essential amino acids that they were lacking. Studies done for longer periods of time that looked at changes in body composition found greater increases in lean mass with animal-based proteins when compared to plant-based proteins. For example, this 12-week study done in novice lifters found a greater increase in type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers using a milk protein versus a soy. If you know of any studies showing a plant protein outperforming an animal protein in muscle mass increases from resistance training, let me know in the comments below. I've only seen this one 12-week resistance training study that showed a pea protein supplement resulting in greater muscle thickness than a whey protein. This study approached but did not reach statistical significance. Nevertheless, it's a finding worth mentioning and shows that a plant protein could potentially provide comparable muscle mass increases. A distinction that I should have made earlier is that this mainly affects vegans who don't consume any animal products. Vegetarians who don't eat meat still have high-protein, low-carbohydrate options like low-fat Greek yogurt, whey protein, eggs, and egg whites. And if you want to learn more about why eggs are great for building muscle, then check out my video called 5 Reasons Eggs Are the Best Muscle Building Food. Yeah, buddy! Gotta get geek, baby! 
So here are five things you can do with a vegan diet to help maximize muscle mass from resistance training. The first method is to mix plant proteins with amino acid profiles that complement or complete each other. The chart below shows the amino acid profiles of pea and rice proteins. You can see that the amino acids pea protein lacks, rice protein contains, and vice versa. When put together, this makes a rice pea blend comparable to whey protein. And there are vegan protein powders with these blends. Another example of complementary amino acid profiles is cereal proteins, which are deficient in lysine, and legumes, which are deficient in sulfur. Put together, they become a more complete source of plant-based protein. The second method is to have periods of tracking your protein intake to make sure you're consuming enough. In free-living populations, plant-based dieters tend to eat less protein than people who consume animal products. Plant-based these proteins are less protein dense than animal sources so without a conscious effort to consume enough protein it's easy to fall short the third method is to make up for quality with quantity so increasing the total amount of plant-based proteins you consume can help make up for the differences in quality and help further increase muscle mass the fourth method is to supplement as needed and this can be broken down in a couple ways one is to get blood work done regularly to make sure you're not running into deficiencies. And based on that, you supplement with things like B12, iron, vitamin D, or anything else your medical doctor or dietitian recommends. The second is to use supplements that are scientifically proven to enhance strength, performance, and muscle mass. Creatine monohydrate is a great example. And since creatine in smaller amounts is in red meats, which vegans obviously don't consume, supplementing it can be beneficial. The fifth and most advanced method involves plant breeding or genetic engineering of plants to improve their nutritional quality. And I know that's a controversial topic and impractical for most of us, but I thought it was worth mentioning. I'll let Elon Musk figure that one out in the future. Plant protein sources rich in fiber and micronutrients are valuable for your overall health, but still on a one-to-one -one basis, they have a lower anabolic or muscle building potential than animal proteins. But with the strategies discussed in this video and a proper resistance training program, Electra can maximize muscle mass with either source. So if you found any of that beneficial, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and check out madegains.com for any online coaching inquiries. And as always, I'm willing to change my opinion based on scientific research, so if you have anything that you'd like to share, don't forget to leave in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.